everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is Sonia Shri here and today I'm going to be telling you all about the Indian Ocean. Now, do you know where the Indian Ocean is? The Indian Ocean is just below the Indian subcontinent. Now, do you know why the Indian country is called the Indian subcontinent? India is covered by water on all of its three sides, except the fourth side. That's why it's called the subcontinent. What are these three water bodies which cover India? Let us see that. On to the right of India, there's Bay of Bengal, and to the left, there's Arabian Sea. And just below India, there's the Indian Ocean. And we're going to be learning all about that in today's episode. So, let's begin. Whoop. Now, have you ever wondered what is Indian Ocean? The Indian Ocean is the third largest of the world's oceanic divisions covering about 7 crore, 5 lakh, 60,000 kilometers square. Or we can also say 2 crore, 72 lakh, and 40,000 SQMI, or 19.8% of the water on the Earth's surface. Now, it is bounded by Asia to the north, Africa to the west, and the Australia to the east. To the south, it is bounded by the Southern Ocean or Antarctica, depending on the definition in use. Now, as you can see in this little picture over here, you can see this is India, this is Bay of Bengal and the Arabian Sea, as I told you earlier, do you remember? And here's the Indian Ocean, right over here. Okay, now, what does it say? It says that on to the north side of the Indian Ocean, there's Asia, and India comes under Asia, you know that, right? Yeah, of course, I knew, I knew. Now, Africa to the west, do you know where is the west? Is it this side or is it this side? Yes, you're correct. It's this side. So Africa is right over here. It's not included in this picture, but it's over here only. Now, Australia to the east. If west is this way, the Australia should be this way. Correct. So, Australia to the east, and in the south, it's bounded by the Southern Ocean or Antarctica. Do you know what's Antarctica? It's a really cold region, just like the North Pole, but it's located in the South Pole, just like opposite. So, Santa doesn't live there, but yeah, you'll find many penguins, so I'm sure you visit one day. Okay, now let's go to the next page. Woo! Wow! Bye bye, bird! Now, climate. Do you know what's the climate of the Indian Ocean? During summer, warm continental masses draw moist air from the Indian Ocean, hence producing heavy rainfall. The process is reversed during winter, resulting in dry conditions. So, during the summer, it's really warm and it's really, you know, kind of rainfally. But during the winter it's super dry shouldn't it be really watery in winter maybe you should keep wondering that because some things should be left unknown let's go to the next one wow oh no it blew oh, wow it's a little fishy 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 the indian ocean marine life let's see what it is whoa oh how many animals live in the Indian Ocean? Have you ever wondered? No. Over 2,200 species, approximately 75% of the world's coral reef fish species. The turtles, 5 species. The sea cucumbers, 140 species. The shelled marine mollusks, over 3,200 species. The shelled marine moccolus, over 3,200 species. Example, the bivalve, 
I asteroids, clams and muscles. The corals point three hundred species, the mangroves nine species and the sea grasses twelve species. Wow, that's a lot of learn, right? Oh, did you know? I think you should answer this question in the comments. The Indian Ocean is the only ocean named after its country, that is India. The shape of the ocean is almost triangular. If you knew this fact, then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. If you didn't know it, no worries. You can just tell your answer in the comments down below. Thank you. Bye-bye.